Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Yalek, and I normally don't try to brag a lot. If I sound like I'm bragging sometimes, it is purely unintentional. But in this case, I'm going to brag just a little bit. Um, so I had to light up both of my accounts in this task force, which again, has spots available. Great task force. We've got preppers and pushers. We've got uh, guys who are, you know, like old salt Zuka players who are trying to build up some powder here. You've got me with my warriors. Um, it's kind of a mixed bag, but really talented group of people. Uh, if anybody is looking for a home, uh, we are accepting. For the most part. We'll probably rag on you a little bit. Anyway, um, so I had to light up both of the accounts that I have in this task force tonight, both of which have um, warrior statues. That's my 631 statues. Uh, gotta have that troop health. Gotta have that GBE. So only three damage. Um, earlier in the day, these first few wins were like here, here, here. Um, on this base were completely unboosted and that was a little bit spotty and then later on I got the chance to boost and that got a little bit better uh, I think pretty much everything down to here was just completely unboosted so from this win and everything up uh, just trying to see if I could make it work and then we'll look at the bottom in a minute but first here's the base this is uh, my friend new students base he's currently on his push uh, need to stop and see where he is for a uh, VP today after. Anyway, he has um, recently redesigned his base because with the tribes that we have right now, he thought two blasters would be the best approach because the tribes favor uh, rifles. So RCZM is uh, with rifles 55% damage plus 55% damage. So that's pretty powerful and then tank speed plus 50 percent so he figured the best way to slow those two things down or those two combos down was to go to blasters so he went to two of those in one shield now here's where the bragging comes in because once upon a time uh he's also down to five ice at the moment boosted of course but five ice um i'd have to ask him why exactly i don't quite understand the rationale behind what the pushers do there's a completely different set of logic that i've just not really ever encountered um there and would like to learn more about because it's it's intriguing but anyway they it's kind of so many things are counterintuitive to me so i don't know why but he's down to five ice and presumably that's better for him uh hopefully this layout is working against the tanks and rczm probably and most you know, most nobody does what I do with warriors, so uh, it's actually minimal exposure for him to have one shield. But it's great for me, so that's where the brag comes in. Because um, once upon a time, I had bragged that uh, I could beat any one shield generator base ever, assuming boost. I mean, you might have to boost something. Um, well, this was my chance to prove that, and I'm going to go ahead and say I did. So, like I said. Uh, all of these earlier in the day were unboosted. Uh, a couple other guys in our task force working on this too. One of them uh, got a win too, right here, faded. Uh, that was, he's got four, six statues, four GBE, six damage, and he uses Zookas. Uh, so he got a win on that actually. Um, very, very nasty base under usual circumstances. And then, um, these hits right here, starting with this one and going down to this one right here. So one, two, three, four, one fail there, five. Those were with, um, I think, four boosts on that account. Uh, I did two and two, two GBE, two damage, four an op hit, didn't do the troop health. Also, we have a 50% GBE tribe, I should mention that. that does. That's what makes these unboosted hits up here, that's what made them possible in the first place. Uh, challenging, a lot of fun. Really a great base. I, I love working on this. 
Um, but then my other account had to boost up fully. This is the, the one with the ampersand. Had to boost up fully for op hit. I think it was quick charge that I had to do. And I'm the three damage is a little bit light for operations. Uh, yeah, it was quick charge, which is a shield base. And you do need some GBE to get started. So yeah, I felt like I needed to boost up fully. And since we're going to do that, then we are definitely going to have a crack at a base like this, which I mean, call me crazy, but I love it. And again, this was fully boosted and you can go ahead and count them if you want to, but this is 20 in a row without a loss. <laughs> um, not even fair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 19, 20, 21, 22. I counted wrong somewhere. I don't know if it was now or if it was earlier, but one way or another, I counted wrong somewhere. Regardless, uh, fully boosted with the 50% GBE tribe boost, this was just not even competitive. And I did say any shield base ever. I don't know which one of these it was. One of these in here, I had two losses. And that is as good as it will ever get against new students base. Uh, with his, I mean, 5-5 five, five is low on ice for him. is normally 6-6 six, six or 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, it'll never get any better than that. <laughs> I just said the, tr the trouble is I probably couldn't find it. We'll just look at one randomly then because I don't know which is which, and you can't tell when you're looking at friendly challenges. Uh, but with the full boost, now with, with the partial boost on, I didn't, he doesn't have many mines for me to clear right now. There's a boom mine up here, and then I barraged over here. But um, with the partial boost, that was more interesting. Uh, I'd use an art and clear some mines, but the partial boost couldn't afford to do a whole ton of mine clearance so and with no boost on this morning man that was now there were a lot more fails there obviously <laughs> i picked a great one here i peaked with the flamethrower watching me good job um work was mainly working on the timing on this right here uh all night and the timing for this is Basically, I throw the smoke there. As soon as they pop out of smoke, they pause for a second, and then the hammers start to come up. And as soon as the hammers start to go up, I was throwing the, the re-smoke there. Um, again, I'm going to go ahead and say I got that down. <laughs> uh, that's for one swing on a generator. No, actually, that was that's two swings. Excuse me. That's two swings. But because... Actually, we can go back and watch... Again, one of these. Uh, that's actually kind of interesting. Um, so the first couple of hits I did on the partial boost account earlier were a little messy. And so I had to work that out. Uh, the timing changes versus when you throw the re-smoke. Re uh, when you're back here versus when you're over here. When I'm over here, I'll throw the re-smoke um, as soon as the warriors finish their first swing. Back here... I'm throwing the re-smoke uh, a fraction of a second after they come out of smoke. They appear out of smoke and then they start to lift their hammers to, to swing. And I throw the smoke and they throw and then the, the warriors swing twice while the smoke is in transit, basically. That's the timing on that. So let's see if we can try to find that on uh, one of these. And again, I don't know what's what. so. Um, I guess. So there's that boom line. I'm assuming he has these arranged uh, the way he does right now because of the RCZM threat with the plus. Uh, is there medic healing too, I believe? Yeah, there is. Uh, so medic healing, which is good for both RCZM and uh, T-Meds. And 
plus bonuses to each of those significant bonuses too the the rifles and the tanks in each of those combos uh, yeah just very very powerful tribes uh, forcing him interestingly again normally you'd think well two shields would be better right but in this case he needed more damage coming out so let's see if we can put this down into half times so throw in a med kit there and see if we can catch when that nah I mean, you see how quickly after they finish destroying the uh, generator there, the, the second smoke lands, that's the proper timing for that. Uh, you can't really see when the smoke was thrown, but I'm telling you that it's pretty much as soon as... The, the, there's a fraction of a second, just a hair's breadth of a second, when the warriors come out of smoke there where they're not moving, as soon as they start to move, throwing the re-smoke back here. Um... That looked like a pretty good one. Again, I, I can't really tell which one is which, but yeah, just uh, really, really great practice. Always appreciate a uh, new student letting me use his base like this because just you, you cannot buy. Well, I suppose you can buy, but I'm not Chinese, so you cannot otherwise buy a uh, practice like this and just perfecting the timing. Uh, a lot of fun for me really great evening i did say i don't brag much but i'm gonna brag on this i did say any one shield base ever can be beaten and um yeah we went ahead and backed that one up tonight so anyway that's what i got thumbs up like subscribe all that stuff you know how it goes and i will catch you later hope you have a great night